What's up YouTube, Chaos Prime here, and today we're going to be talking about the luck stat. It seems there's been a lot of talk about this, there's been a number of posts on Reddit, people coming together, theory crafting, testing, experimenting, seeing what they yield, trying to figure out the perfect sweet point to see where the stat gives you the best return, where it starts to give you diminishing results. There's people with 300 luck stat, 250, and it's pretty much all in the air right now in terms of what is acceptable. However, the technical design director, Brennan Holmes, has come out and basically given us a host of information to tell us how this works. So if you do find this useful, a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome and fun news. Click on that bell to be notified of all content I release. Don't forget to share because I'm pretty sure there'll be a bunch of people that want to know this information. And don't forget to comment below and just get involved in the good chat. So it seems the 100 base stat is flat for every player, be it a Colossus, Interceptor, Ranger or Storm. It makes no difference. The flat rate is 100. Now what's interesting here is the thresholds. The thresholds seem to go up by 9 each time. So you have 101 to 109, and then 10 to 19, 20 to 29, so forth, until you get to 190. Now according to Brennan Holmes, once you get to 190, that is it. That is the actual cap when it comes to the luck based stat. If you have 200, 250, 300 or 500, it will make absolutely no difference whatsoever to your stat compared to someone that has 190. You don't need 191, the literal cap is 190. You can of course go above the 190, but it will have zero effect on yield. Now, it's been confirmed that this stat does not apply to chests. There is a different inscription in the game for this, and you also have a harvesting stat that increases your yields for harvesting. This, however, does increase your chances of getting better loot. So this is what this is. I have reached out and tried to get more information as to what the thresholds in between actually give you in terms of gain. Do you actually gain 109%? Is it an actual 10% boost each time? Or is it literally like a couple of percentage here every time until you get to 190 and then it physically stops? So in theory, every one of these could increase your chance by 2%, right? So if you started at 100 being the base level of say 10%, it could go up to basically 20 or 30 percent we don't know the actual stat number all we have is a base value i haven't got a response yet from brennan holmes and if i do i'll make a follow-up video to this to actually update on that information however what is interesting here and good to know is the fact that anything over 190 is a wasted stat on top of this 100 is your base stat so you only need 90 stat for luck to cap it and legendaries can roll up to 45 percent luck so technically you only need to roll it on two items in order to get a cap. And then you can powerhouse yourself for every other stat. And when you go into GM 1, 2 or 3, then at least you're not holding your team behind. Because what's happening right now is you're pretty much going into a stronghold. And once in there, you'll find a bunch of players that are just not geared enough because they're just so decked out in luck stat trying to get that extra loot. Well, that myth is now gone. 190 is the cap, you only need 90. Legendary will give you 45, Masterworks will give you 40. If you're going the Masterwork route, you will need a third item. However, honestly, at 180 stat, 190, not much in difference. We don't know what the difference is between each tier, but the max cap threshold is 190. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. If you ask me honestly, I think the luck based stat should just be removed from the game entirely. Everyone should just have a flat 100 base stat and that should just be that. And you shouldn't be able to manipulate luck. Luck is one of those things that I think in the looter shooter especially, I know it works really well in Diablo, but when you're comparing say games like The Division and Warframe and Destiny, it just has no place in there. And these are the games that it's comparing to, not Diablo. So trying to go too forward into the Diablo realm of things is probably not the best thing, even though they are pretty much replicating the loot system. So me personally, I prefer them to just remove the luck stat and actually replace it with something that we can use as a better stat. But it is there, don't waste your time going anywhere above 190. Once you've hit 190, you've hit the cap and that's the end of that. Right everyone? I hope you found this useful and if you have, 
please show some love and support for this video i love making the content for you guys i love bringing this news to you it does take a while so if you can show some love and support hitting that like subscribe clicking that bell sharing the video leaving a comment below and letting me know your thoughts that would be awesome right guys until the next video maximize that luck let's get that thumbs up to at least 250 and remember just because you've got physical damage or elemental damage plus 200 percent it doesn't always mean you're in for a good ride check this picture out yeah sucks to be you right yeah that, that that's just pretty painful i have to admit that 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 hurts that hurts so much what a stat to have it wasted on gg right guys <laughs> remain legend see you next time